I will discuss about drug receptors. A receptor is a protein macromolecule present either in the membrane of a cell or inside the cell that specifically bind a drug. When the receptors are embedded in the plasma membrane of the cell, they are called surface receptor or transmembrane receptors. What I have said, when the receptors are embedded in the plasma membrane of the cells, they are called surface receptors or transmembrane receptors. Drugs that bind to transmembrane receptors cannot travel across the cell membrane. Examples could be histamine H1 receptors, histamine H2 receptors, leukotriene receptors, beta adrenergic receptors, all are transmembrane receptors. Now, hydrophobic drugs are able to cross the cell membrane and come inside the cell. What I have said, hydrophobic drugs are able to cross the cell membrane and come inside the cell. Such drugs can bind to intracellular receptors. Intracellular receptors could be found on the cytoplasm or nucleus. When the receptors are found on the cytoplasm, they are called cytoplasmic receptors. And when the receptors are found on the nucleus, they are called nuclear receptors. Vitamin A, vitamin D all bind to and activate nuclear receptors. The binding of a drug to its receptor depends on the type of bond that can be established between the drug and the receptors. The binding of a drug to its receptor depends on the type of the bond that can be established between the drug and the receptors. The strength of this chemical bond determines the degree of affinity of the drug to its receptors. The strength of this chemical bond determines the degree of affinity of the drug to its receptors. Drugs that are attracted to the receptors may be classified as agonist or antagonist. Drugs that are attracted to the receptors may be classified as agonist or antagonist. Now I will discuss what is agonist and antagonist. An agonist is a drug that when binds to its receptor, it activates the receptor to produce a biological response. An agonist is a drug that when binds to its receptor, it activates the receptor to produce a biological response. The example could be short-acting beta-2 agonists like salbutamol, levosalbutamol, terbutalin. When they bind to beta-2 receptors, bronchodilation takes place. Whereas an antagonist is a drug that when binds to its receptor, causes an action opposite to that of the agonist. An antagonist, anta means anti. An antagonist is a drug that when binds to its receptor, causes an action opposite to that of the agonist. Example, leukotriene receptor antagonist. Example could be Montelukast, histamine H1 receptor antagonist, that is the antihistamines like cetrazine or levosetrazine are all antagonists. Now, receptors are mainly are of two types, which I have discussed earlier. One is transmembrane receptors, that is which are embedded in the plasma membrane. And another is intracellular receptors, that is which are present inside the cells. Now, transmembrane receptors which are embedded in the plasma membrane can be trans transmembrane ion channel receptors, transmembrane G protein coupled receptors, or transmembrane receptors with cytosolic domain. Whereas intracellular receptors could be uh, cytoplasmic receptor and nuclear, nuclear receptors, as discussed 